I'd like to welcome everyone to the special session of the Central Municipal Court of Atlantic County. What a wonderful, wonderful day today. At this point, I'd like to introduce Judge Mike Lee. Judge Lee is the incoming Simon Judge of Atlantic and Cape May County. As of March 1st, he'll be taking on his duties, selected by, by the Chief Justice, uh, and the announcement was made last, uh, last week. So um, congratulations, Judge Lee. And, and welcome. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Our first joining me on the bench is Judge Lou Velasco, the presiding judge of, of our municipal courts. I think the best presiding judge in the state of New Jersey, without a doubt. And thank you, Judge Velasco, for all you've done over the last 10 years advancing justice in our municipal courts and, and the administration of our courts. At this point, I'd like to introduce our TCA for some opening remarks. Thank you, Judge. And uh, Good morning again, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, we have so many wonderful guests here. This is kind of a, quote, soft opening, if you will. And um, I want to show my back to my, to my new boss here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Judge. <laughs> I have two assignment judges right now. You know, so. uh, anyway, uh, we are certainly planning a much more uh, involved formal dedication and we wanted everybody to know that and we're working with county government and, and everybody and we're we're looking to do that as a part of, of law week if you will which is the first week in May which is going to work out well and I mean everything is coming together so beautifully but we're going to do that but Judge Mendez uh, felt and of course I thought it was very special particularly since he is re officially retiring uh, at the end of this month and has had so much to do with this. So to talking to, uh, to the county and certainly to the court, um, we wanted, I, we felt it was important that Judge Mendez uh, do the official oath of office to our judges. Uh, Judge uh, Verno could not be here today, but we have, and we'll, we'll introduce judges in a bit, but this was a, a special time for Judge Mendez. So we wanted to do this, particularly for you. And I thought that was really a good thing to do. So I just wanted to, to just say a few things and then I'll try to, reserve a lot of my comments for uh, for May, but this is just an incredible, since it's our first public uh, gathering, if you will, this is just an incredible time. I think back well over 18 months ago, I was in chambers with uh, Judge Mark Sanson, who has since retired, Judge Mendez was there, and uh, County Executive Levinson called, and uh, we just had uh, a think tank, if you will. Uh, Judge, uh, Judge, uh, Executive Levinson had, was thinking about the possibility of, of a consolidation. And uh, we just started pushing some ideas around. And clearly, Judge Mendez, who without question, um, if, I, if he had a middle name besides his real middle name, I would say it's reform, because he is all about uh, justice reform and certainly municipal court reform. And uh, Judge Mendez was certainly on board with that. The next thing I know, uh, County Executive Levinson asked for uh, uh, county Administrator, uh, Jerry Griffin, and then uh, Jim Ferguson, County Council, uh, to just kind of get together, and I think it was in my office, uh, and we just started sharing some ideas and some data, and next thing you know, this thing just really started spinning rapidly. Of course, we are well, as we still are in the middle of COVID, so there were a lot of virtual meetings, but committees, and uh, and everything just really took off. Uh, and it's been, it's been a whirlwind, but an incredible, uh, and I've been in this business for over 40 years. It's just one of the most incredible experiences that I've had. Uh, when I first started in bringing people that had never been to this building before, I know this building because I had offices in here for about the first 15 years of my career. But uh, when I brought Brian, where's Brian? Uh, there's Brian. Brian Jenner had never been here before, our incredible municipal division manager. He could not believe this great facility. And, and I kept saying, this is a great facility thanks to county government how they've maintained this, renovated it, pushed, uh, pushed a tremendous amount of funding in this. And we all knew that this, this building was gonna work if we could pull this all together. And through the series of meetings, uh, it just really, uh, it just really, really was, uh, again, an incredible moment. Just a uh, thanks, uh, and we'll, again, make more formal thank yous uh, in, in May, and hopefully a lot of these folks will be here. Certainly some of you are here now, but we're hopeful that maybe the Chief Justice and Judge Grant the director, uh, uh, the administrative director of the courts, who have been incredibly supportive, uh, to say the least, and all the folks from the administrative office of the courts, state government, my gosh, Jim, uh, uh, the, the, the things that we've done with state government, and 
as we know, there was a piece of uh, why we probably, we could have done a consolidated court without legislation, but as you all know, we did get a piece of very important legislation, thanks to then Senator Sweeney, who was very much behind that and working with his staff. Uh, Division of Government Services, Jim's yelling at me, because he has folks he's gonna thank, I know, at some point. But, uh, but you know, from I said, state government, uh, our court, you know, the Superior Court, the Municipal Court, the Division, Judge Belasco, Brian, all of those folks, everybody, wow. County government, uh, some of you are here. Just thank you, thank you. I know all of you, I consider you friends, but this is a, uh, Jerry and Jerry Griffin and Jim and IT facilities. I mean, I said it was an incredible facility when we walked in here, but what a, what a great place now and everything that we're doing. So thanks again to everybody. I'm sure I missed uh, Diana Ratulis here. Uh, just uh, county government has been phenomenal. We've been working with the sheriff. Where, uh, you'll see the security enhancements that have been made that's going to make this, uh, uh, it already is, but it's even going to be an AAA plus uh, secure facility. So we're just, uh, just great. The municipal governments, um, the meetings that we've had, all and some of our municipal officials are here. Uh, again, it's just been probably one of the most cooperative efforts that I, that I truly have ever seen. So uh, I, I, there's no doubt that I missed somebody in all my thank yous, uh, but just I, it's really important in this first public setting that we just sincerely, uh, sincerely just say thanks for all of this effort, and uh, this is this is really an exciting, an exciting time for all of us. Okay, and certainly myself, I really believe in the municipal courts. It's always been a part of my my real love of working in the courts. So again, I know I've missed somebody, uh, Mike Fedorko. I just saw Mike here, direct, uh, public safety director Fedorko, been really involved. Uh, I would go right across and say hi, and thank you, everybody. But uh, <laughs> but uh, you know how much this means to me. So. Uh, Brian, you wanted to make a few more introductions and then we'll get on with the ceremony, Greg. I'd just like to say um, thank you everybody for attending and Howard, you hit the nail on the head. This was such a collaborative effort and everybody was tremendous in getting us to this point where we are now. And I can't express my gratitude as a division manager for everybody who assisted and put the work in here to get this, make this a reality. But I do want to acknowledge my staff um, because this started in the year 2020, I think it was August, and since then it's been everything county court. So um, my assistant division manager, Janelle Rodriguez, she's here. Niobe uh, Mieja. She's also been with us. And we have a couple of other people that unfortunately can't make it here today. And that's Melina Miller and Charisma Serrano. But they all have been supportive and they've all put in tremendous work and tremendous hours in getting us to this point where we are today. But I cannot thank Judge Velasco, our PJ enough, for everything and all the wisdom and knowledge that he provided us and helping us get through this as well. Thank you, Judge Velasco. Before I go on, um, I just want to say the, the effort, like Howard said, to get this building up and running. I mean, if you were here on the first day that we walked into this building, I couldn't believe the space. I couldn't believe the condition it was in. And to see it now, upgraded to the point it is now, I, I, the people I've run into today that was a part of this, they all, they all are so excited about this day. And they've all been so happy that we could get to this point. Although we had a few bumps in the road, <laughs> we've been able to overcome. And Judge McGuire, I'm sure that, that you could attest to some of the things that we had to work through and iron out to get here. But thank you, Judge McGuire, for, you, for your efforts as the chief judge of this court in getting us through this. Um, I also want to acknowledge Tony Tummett. She's the court administrator for the time. <laughs> She's been really, really great also in helping us work through any issues and getting this court open. We also have a few of the deputy court administrators here. We have Lisa Belgrave, who's the deputy court administrator. Santoro Garvey and Gina Warner. So you guys
guys have been really, really great. And, and, and the work ahead of you is going to be nonstop from here on out, but I know you're up to the task. Mm -hmm. I saved the last, but not the least, Eileen. Eileen <laughs> Bennett. She's our newest member to the division staff. But I want people to acknowledge Eileen because she's going to be our liaison here. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody knows who Eileen is. Right? So I'm like, you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> because now Eileen is going to be our point person for the municipal division. She was hired as assistant division manager for my office. We're the only municipal division in the state of New Jersey with two assistant division managers. And Eileen is going to be our point person here. She was um, hired for that particular task and duties and I'm sure she's going to do an outstanding job. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you. We didn't get, I don't think we have any of the prosecutors here today, um, but the prosecutors are Jim Grimley. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. We also have Adam Barker and Jenna Cook, who are also the prosecutors. But I do want to acknowledge, I think I saw Frank Lentz here. Yep, right there. there he is. Frank Lentz is going to be a public defender. Thank you, Frank. And Linda Goff, is she here today? You too, Linda. I didn't see her, but she will be the other public defender Great. for the office. I'm going to turn it back over to you. Yep, and I just uh, and I missed a few, and then we got to get going with the important. <laughs> yep. That's our judges. Uh, I just uh, I did see under Sheriff Comar is here, or acting sheriff. I agree to work with. Yes, sir. Yeah, and uh, Chief Sharkey and all the sheriff's officers. So thank you for the continued communication and, and working with us on that. I appreciate that. My assistant in operations, Jill Hauck, is here. Jill's been very involved, uh, very involved in the project. Jeannie Seymour from my office is always involved. There's Jeannie, uh, but again, our IT people, everybody. Everybody's just, uh, we don't have enough balloons to just celebrate, but we will. Okay, so again, thank you all. And uh, Judge, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. And just, just briefly, uh, a little bit of uh, context. Uh, about seven years ago, the Chief Justice asked me to chair a statewide committee on the Supreme Court regarding uh, municipal court reform. And since that time, for eight years, seven or eight years, I've dedicated a tremendous amount of time and effort uh, to, uh, to work uh, uh, with uh, issues related to the municipal courts. And uh, I think we've made great, great progress in the state of New Jersey in a multitude of areas. And this is another example of that progress. Uh, I want to uh, express my great uh, appreciation for the Atlantic County government, uh, the Atlantic County executive, and the entire administration and the board of commissioners for supporting this concept. Uh, it is a unique concept, uh, the only court of this type in the entire state of New Jersey. Uh, we uh, will be a model for all this to follow. Uh, so uh, I just want to express my, my gratitude to them. Also, I want to express my gratitude to our municipal officials who made the courageous decision to become part of the central municipal court in Atlantic County. And uh, they, uh, they were able to see uh, all the benefits uh, to the people that they serve um, when they um, when they come into the municipal courts in a centralized facility, facility like this, and uh, uh, the goal that we have of providing a multitude of services uh, to assist people that may have mental health issues, domestic violence concerns, um, uh, addiction issues, um, and uh, we hope that uh, we can coordinate services and provide tools to our judges so they can, they can uh, uh, incorporate those services in the disposition of uh, the cases in the municipal courts. At the same time, I also realize uh, that <coughs> as an elected official, everybody's always looking at the bottom line, and this uh, um, centralized process is not only uh, an effort to provide better customer services and better services, but also it, it generates uh, savings to the municipalities. And, uh, and I... Uh, uh, over the next uh, year or two, uh, we'll be able to see realize those, those uh, realizing those those uh, savings to every one of the of the towns that are participating. Uh, 
Uh, I know that there was a lot of reluctance, uh, for example, on the part of the people that work in the municipal courts. But here we are, most, most if not all of our staff at the central court came from the municipalities. Uh, already experienced people with great skill and knowledge. Uh, and I am very pleased that we put together a wonderful staff to, to, to manage and administer case management in this court. Likewise, our judges came from uh, the municipalities as well. Uh, so we've uh, been able to uh, achieve something that is a win-win situation for everybody, something that is unique in a wonderful facility. I mean, look at this courtroom, uh, phenomenal courtroom. Uh, it, it, some of you may get a chance to do a little bit of a uh, <coughs> tour today of the different parts of, uh, of our municipal court facility here in, uh, in, in this building. Wonderful courtroom right next to us. I we remember appearing there before Judge Carrera when I was a young lawyer, appearing here before. I, I believe it was Judge Greenberg sat here and, uh, uh, yep. uh, in this courtroom. A uh, new starter sat on the third one. Uh, and and, and uh, maximizing the use of this facility with security, with great recommendations that have come to us from the Sheriff's Department, uh, from Mr. Fedorko, in terms of how do we, how do we provide a, a secure work environment for all of our staff and for the people that come into this, into this courthouse uh, to get their services done. Uh, so uh, with excellent parking, uh, accessible, so this is a, um, a tremendous um, uh, achievement uh, that everyone involved uh, uh, should uh, be very proud of, of what we've been able to accomplish together. I, um, I, I want to highlight the great work of retired Judge Mark Sanson uh, promoting the concept. Uh, I want to highlight the uh, great work of uh, uh, Solito Ferguson for, for the county. Uh, going out of their way and uh, promoting the concept and trying to highlight uh, the benefits of this uh, important uh, new way of handling municipal, municipal courts. Uh, of course, I want, I want to be thankful to uh, the former president of the Senate, uh, Senator Sweeney, who was sponsor of the legislation that ultimately uh, became the law, uh, along with the Senate and, 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 and the Assembly. Just to give you an example of the commitment that the courts have in this concept, they actually allow me, as Simon Judge, to appear before the Senate Assembly and the Senate, and, and, and sorry, before the Senate and the Assembly to testify in support of the law, and um, uh, and I did that. Uh, not often. Actually, it has not happened in any in any other time in my tenure as a judge for for 20 years, for the last 10 years as a as a, as a judge. So I am. I, I am very thankful that we are where we are, and I look forward to a very successful model that uh, people in the future, in other places, will come here and learn how the great people of Atlantic County put this together, the courageous decisions made by the municipal officials uh, to do this. Um, and and, and in, in some ways, it is the fulfillment of the promise of the 1947 Constitution for a unified uh, uh, court system in the set of years that included also included the, the courts of limited jurisdiction, which are the municipal courts, which is where most people have contact with, uh, with our justice system. So again, um, thank you all. And now we're going to move on to, this, to the oath. Um, and judge, like uh, I think Mr. Ferguson just had a couple of comments okay. to make right now. <coughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, Judge. <coughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Judge Mendez. Uh, <coughs> It wasn't so long ago that uh, we really wondered whether we would ever be here today. Um, there were a lot of obstacles on the way, but this truly was a collaborative effort, a true shared service uh, between the judiciary, the county, and the participating municipalities. And I, I've got to give so much credit to everyone. Um, it was a tough task, but we persevered. And, and we're here today because of that perseverance from everybody uh, in this room. Uh, Judge, I especially want to thank you and your staff. Judge Belasco was terrific throughout the process, particularly when uh, keeping us in line. Um, when I drafted some things and he would come back and say, no, we've got to do it this way. And really being there is the steady hand throughout this process. So Judge, I thank you. Uh, I thank Howard. 
um, and uh, the members of your staff. And I can't say enough about Brian Jetter. Boy, what, what a great guy um, in helping us through this process. All the spreadsheets and things that he, that he did, and, and, you know, with, he gave to Judge Sanson and I to go around and to discuss with the municipalities. And time after time, I'd come back to him and say, you know, can we tweak this? Can we tweak that? And he was always there, willing, ready, willing, and able to help us. Janelle was terrific also. All the members of the court staff um, that helped put this together. Um, the county government. Um, Jerry Del Rosso, our county administrator, and our deputy administrator, Diana Rutella, uh, really pulled things together over these last couple months. Uh, and uh, there were a lot of things that maybe we had to do a little bit differently at the county, but they worked with their staffs and all to get this done. Um, Mike Fedorko with uh, helping out here with the security and meeting uh, with people from the sheriff's office, and I, I thank uh, Sheriff Scheffler, uh, Acting Sheriff uh, Rich Comar, and uh, Chief Jim Sharkey um, for all your work in putting the security together. And uh, we wouldn't be here today without Jerry Griffin, who is our Director of Facilities, who coordinated. As you know, we were involved in a big uh, HVAC project here, which got delayed a little bit through no fault of the county or the contractor. It was just waiting for some component parts to come in to complete that project. But Jerry kept everything on track, and he is largely responsible for the, the beautiful building and this courtroom that we sit in today. Um, and then the municipal officials. Uh, we have with us today uh, Mayor Charles Kane and Deputy Mayor Richard Cheek from the host town of Hamilton Township. They're both here. Gentlemen, I appreciate your being here. Thank you. And we have Mayor Paul Hodson, who is from the largest municipality that's part of this court. That's Egg Harbor Township. Mayor, thank you for being here as well. And what uh, uh, Judge Mendez said before is really true. There were a lot of people at various levels, but particularly in a lot of the municipalities that didn't want to see this work. And you three in particular, and the mayors and administrators of the other towns that joined had the courage, the courage to do the right thing. And I truly believe this is the right thing and that it will work out and the process that we've started on will be vindicated as we move forward. So thank you again, uh, everybody. And Judge Lee, I look forward to working with you in your new role. Me as well. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Thank, thank you all. Thank you. So now we're going to we're going to move forward with the oath of office, and I'm going to ha ask Judge uh, Velasco to do the oath for Judge Fowler. I always joke when I come in a room and the uh, uh, court officers say, all rise, I immediately say, you can be seated, because otherwise they'd be standing for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> take your time, Your Honor. Yes, take uh, your time, please. May I have the honor of holding the Bible for you? Yes, please. Okay. We'll do it, uh, well, yes, let me do this. And we have a, a couple cameras over here. Okay. Uh, I used to like say a Kodak moment. I always like to be on camera. There you go. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank I, Richard T. Fauntleroy, I, Richard T. Fauntleroy, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support, that I will support, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will bear true 
uh, true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments. And to the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will perform. And that I will perform. The duties of. The duties of acting associate judge, acting associate judge of Central Municipal Court of Atlantic County, of the Central Municipal Court of Atlantic County, faithfully, faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly, and justly, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Judge Jerry, one. No, no, no. Oh, I just wanted. Oh, we have this one. Oh, okay. You want to? Oh, you can sure you do. Yes. You said it. I think the county administrator should be in the pictures. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, our incoming assignment judge, Josh Michael Bleed, to provide the oath of office to uh, Josh Feeney. Okay. Judge Bleed's first order was for me to bring my wife so I could get myself. <laughs> People may know this, actually, just we sat uh, as a municipal court judge uh, for, for a few years in Galloway, right? Yeah. And uh, Judge Freed was my adversary in uh, Margate. I was a public defender. <laughs> <laughs> I got no deals. <laughs> <laughs> my pad and I was, Howard, I'm your friend. <laughs> I have no friends. <laughs> I, Howard E. Freed. I, Howard E. Freed. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will perform the duties. And that I will perform the duties. Of acting associate judge. Of acting associate judge. Of the Central Municipal Court of Atlanta County. Of the Central Municipal Court of Atlanta County. Faithfully. Faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Judge, once again. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Jerry, you want me to hold the bag? Here. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 And as they're coming down, these were classmates of mine at uh, Holy Spirit, you know? Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know he looks a lot younger than me, but just so you know, we're the same age. We're the same age. Uh, please, left hand of the Bible, raise your right hand. I, I, your name please, Timothy McGuire, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. 
and to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. That I will perform the duties of. That I will perform the duties of. Chief Judge. Chief Judge. Of the Central Municipal Court of Atlantic County. Of the Central Municipal Court of Atlantic County. Faithfully. Faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Is, um, just, uh, I just wanted to uh, say again that uh, Judge Verno, of course, she could not be with us uh, today, but she uh, certainly will be with us at our next event uh, in May. She just had a, uh, I believe it was a pre-planned vacation, and it, at this point, vacation sounds so good, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so so how are so at this point, I'd like to invite our incoming assignment, yours for a few words. Thank you, Judge. And I will keep it brief. Uh, What's the old saying? You can't come home again. Well, you can. <laughs> so uh, this uh, this initiative is something I watch from afar um, because uh, municipal courts are so important to me. Um, you know, I would give my suggestions to Judge Mendez. Obviously, I had other duties and responsibilities. My old friend Judge Sanson, I give him my two uh, two uh, cents. And it's what a great way for me to start my career. Um, March 1st as assignment judge to come to this event. Uh, I can tell you <coughs> that you know we're, we're in the infancies. You did all the hard work. Uh, and uh, my wife has a saying uh, to include is exclude, so I'm not going to recognize all my friends here. Uh, and I don't want to reiterate what's been said. Uh, but we have hard work to go to, to move forward in the future. Uh, I can tell you, um, you know, as part of the selection process, with the lengthy interview with the Chief Justice and Judge Grant. Uh, I emphasize this would continue to be part of my initiative and priority. Uh, and uh, I can tell you from their interview, they're very well aware of this program. Uh, and I can tell you that our vicinage is a leader in the state of New Jersey. And we're gonna continue that um, because of the great work of, of, of Judge Mendez and, and Howard Birchtold and everyone involved. So I, I mean, I'm just extremely excited, uh, and we want to continue to excel. As we know, once we start a new program, there's going to be a lot of uh, kinks that we're going to have to work out. Um, but you know, I've worked with all of you. Uh, the sheriff's department uh, protects us. We have a great relationship with them. The county government. Uh, I've always had a great relationship with the county government. Our municipal court administrators. I know what it's about. Um, you know. Looking at that was one of the youngest prosecutors in the county, uh, public defender, and municipal court judge. So this is this is where uh, my heart belongs. I'm just going to quickly talk about the, my, my municipal court judges. I couldn't have uh, selected finer people. Uh, I'll start with uh, uh, presiding judge Belasco. Uh, I, you know, I got the call as a municipal court judge uh, from Mayor DePanfilis to become the municipal court judge Northfield and Linwood. The next day, I'm meeting with Judge Velasco, and he's training me, uh, and tra trained me well, uh, recognizing um, how important the position is, how, how much how challenging the position is. And once I started, I was ready to go due to his leadership. He's also a uh, Dickinson College grad, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with, maybe people don't know this, I consider a mentor Judge Fauntleroy. Uh, my first job, if you can imagine, um, as a uh, as a first year law student, uh, was as a law clerk for Judge Fauntleroy and some of his partners. Uh, and I learned so much uh, from Judge Fauntleroy about justice uh, and, uh, and, and compassion uh, for your uh, clients. So it's, it's such an honor to have him uh, working again uh, together. Uh, as I mentioned, Judge Freed, uh, we've known each other you know, since I first started practicing as practicing attorneys. 
we were adversaries, and I say that jokingly. We had a great relationship, uh, and I uh, happened to serve as a solicitor in Galway Township when, when Judge Freed was selected, and he certainly uh, met it with the, the, you know, my uh, high um, recommendations. Uh, to uh, Judge McGuire, and I cannot forget Mrs. McGuire, um, just wonderful people, been friends since high school. By the way, Judge McGuire is a world champion in Coxes. Does anybody know that? <laughs> yes. 76 Holy Spirit crew. Uh, the real champion is Mrs. McGuire. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what, a, what a great week. And, and Judge McGuire and I and bringing team on a lot of different sides of the table, same table, uh, and we're always cooperative, friendly. We, did, we understood our roles. And what a, a beautiful thing when I became uh, the presiding judge of Jared Weckley to have uh, Michelle McGuire as my go-to appointee with some very difficult things, always done with a smile on her face and people you can trust. Uh, and missing Judge Verno and I uh, were in the school play at Holy Spirit High School. <laughs> 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 I couldn't dance then, I still can't dance. <laughs> but uh, I really look forward to working uh, together with everyone uh, and I thank you all for your hard effort and uh, on March 1st we'll, we'll uh, roll up my sleeves and get to work. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Jenner, very quickly. Um, <laughs> right before I had my interview, Brian had me well prepared, knowing exactly what was going on here, uh, and my thanks, and I know we're in good hands with Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Brian. Since we have the school thing going, I just want to mention that Judge Mendez was at Violent High when my wife was at Violent High. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple years ahead of my wife, but I wanted to get that in there for Violent High. <laughs> right? We were not in the same place. You were not, not, you were not <laughs> in the same place. But you were, you were at the high school together. Yes, yes. we were. Yes. So I'm uh, going to shout out for Violent High School. So uh, any other remarks from any of our judges or Judge McGuire, anything? Um, I'm leading right into the closing. So any of the judges have anything they want to add? No, thanks. I just very briefly, I don't want to repeat what has already been said. I want to thank the staff. They do a tremendous job uh, up in what I term the engine room. That's an old growing term. Uh, they really get a lot of work done. And I just want to emphasize, uh, thank the county, the municipalities, and the joint effort uh, uh, Brian is so correct. When I first walked in here, I thought there is no way this building will be ready by March 1st. And to sit here now and see this courtroom in this condition and all you people here who have made it possible, I just thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And it's upward and onward from here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. All right, Jerk, I, I know. Jerry, you said you're, we're going to wait till May, and hopefully the county executive will be with us. But again, thank you so much. All right. To all. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you all. The end of the ceremony. All right.